Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this video we're going to do some fun bee craft projects but what I want to say before I start is that you can take this idea and do any kind of design that you want. You might just not use yellow paint. Uh, you know, you might use pink or purple or orange or red or green or whatever your theme is. So I think that you're going to like this and you're going to see how totally easy it is and, and you probably are going to want to do it. Okay, my project today is using this. This is Waverly paint from Walmart and it's called maize, M-A-I-Z-E, which is Spanish for corn. And so this is a good yellow color. Um, this is just what I like. And then I'm going to be using um, some of these little, what are they, six by six thick stretch canvases. And they came from Walmart in a package of four that looked like this. And they were super affordable. And then we're going to do some of these. Well, we're just going to do two, but... Um, and this is part of a package that I got at Hobby Lobby. These are 12 by 12 canvases. They're not thick. But I got a package that had uh, seven of these 12 by 12 canvases at Hobby Lobby for $12.99, which I thought was a really good deal. And then the last thing we're going to do is this. This is a package of two wood tags from MagnoliaDIY.com, and they come pre-painted. So, that's the plan, and let's start. Let me move some of this out of my way so I have some room. This is the one that I made um, to practice and to see if my idea of polka dots, yellow polka dots with bee stuff, was going to work. And this would be so cute in a kitchen. Um, it just says, sweet honey, pure, all natural, fresh. And then I did the polka dots on it. Okay, so let me open this up here. And I will show you how I did my polka dots. And these are the ones that are all ready to go. Painted this like an hour ago. Here's another one. Here's that wood tag. They're just completely random yellow polka dots. Once they were dry for both of those, I sprayed them. This clear matte sealer spray just helps you get a li little crisper impression. It is hard to get super crisp on these chunky canvases because when you're stenciling, the um, stretch canvas kind of stretches a little bit, but I think it looks just fine. Um, so, let's, I'm just gonna pour out some paint on a paper plate. How's everyone doing today? This is, uh, in case you're watching live, this time is much later than what I normally get started doing a live video but you know things happen and I got busy and uh, so I'm here now okay and you can make polka dots using these little bouncer brushes that come in um, a package of six or ten of them from Walmart in the crafting section they have different sizes I'm gonna use this one I don't know what this is one and a fourth. And I'm just going to, I'm going to need more paint than that. I was kind of thinking about doing striped uh, canvases, but I did that a couple years ago and it did turn out really cute. I'll, I'll dig up those pictures and put them in the comments. Um, it did turn out pretty cute, but I just thought, well, let's do something different. Let's do polka dots today. Okay, so I've just dipped my little pouncer in that, and I'm just randomly going to put my little pouncer down and twist it a little bit. 
Some of these I'm going to do hanging off the edge. And then I'm going to fold the back half of it. So you can see. time doing random because my brain is wired to have everything be um, perfectly symmetrical. I need some more paint. So what do you guys think so far? Okay, and you can do as many or as few as you like. You can do them all along the edge if you want. I did that with this one. And I used a little bit smaller pouncer and more dots. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now I will let this fully dry. I may come back and add some more dots along the edge. I'll let it fully dry for probably an hour. I may take it outside and set it in the sun to help that process move along. And then I'll give it a thin coat of clear matte sealer spray. All right, let me set this over here. And let's do something with the ones that I have ready. So let's do this one. This one, oh, and let me show you. These are just some of the designs that you can get from magnoliadiy.com uh, that have a bee theme. Okay, this is one set. Look how cute that is. It's called Honey Bee Quads. Beautiful. Welcome to our hive. And then this was the other design. So this is one stencil that has all four of these pieces. And when that is dry, I'm going to use this one on it. Also, Magnolia has a really cute set of minis, which has, well, small pieces that are all a bee theme. Some of these I've used already. Be kind. Look at this cute little bee. Look at this um, honeycomb. I would like to have a large uh, of this. There's a cute little flower, queen bee. And I know that was, I showed these to you pretty quick, but I will put a picture of what this stencil design looks like and the quads in these comments with a link in case you want to go look. So those are some options. And then I'm going to use this one, Always Be Kind, which this is an older stencil, which is still available. It's a beautiful one. Um, it's got a great bee on it. And I'm just doing black with this light yellow for all of this. Um, anyways, you can use this stencil just for the beautiful wreath, which you'll be able to see it better when I do this. You could do it just for the B, just for the words. You can swap things around. There's lots of different things that you can do. And I, I guess I probably have this stencil for two or three years, used it many, many, many times. They get a little grungy looking on the front, but as long as your screen is clear, they work just fine. So I am not going to fuzz this because I've had it for a long time and I've used it a ton. But the other one that we're going to do, I will fuzz and I'll show you what that is and we'll talk about it. Stretch canvas.
canvases, they do have a tendency to kind of stretch a little bit when you apply pressure to them, and that can create an issue where more chalk paste comes under your stencil than what you were probably intending to have come through. So you just have to be careful and um, try not to keep going over and over and over it. Okay, I'm using plain old black chalk paste from Magnolia. And a squeegee. And I am gonna put my glasses on so I can see. I have way too much chalk paste on this. Oops, now I have it on my fingers. So I'm just getting it on my stencil, pushing it through the mesh, and then I'm going to come back and pull up all the big clumps and lumps and pull that off. And I'm not throwing it away because I'll, you know, there's no point throwing that away. I'm just putting it right back into my little pot. Let's take this back. I didn't need that. Okay, so I'm really just looking to see where do I have big clumps of it. And this is what it looks like. Let me lift and peek. This one looks much better. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. I may come back and do some edging. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Okay, let me throw this over here in my tub of water. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. I kind of think I will come back and do some black edging with that chart face. In fact, let's just do it right now. I am going to use a palette knife from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put a blob of black chalk paste on my paper plate. Um, these come from Dollar Tree. It's a plastic palette knife. Um, it's going to have a set of three in there and I just put some chalk paste on my palette knife and then I'm just going to kind of do this kind of thing. And because it is bumpy, the edge, well the whole thing, the stretch canvas is bumpy, it will pick up different bits of the um, Look how cute that is already. Okay. This is going to all take probably, I don't know. The edging is pretty thick, so it will take a little while to dry. But probably a good couple of hours. Smudge it. Isn't that so cute? So easy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's set this. I don't want the black smudges on my fingers to get on my next project. So when this is fully dry, I'll get pictures of it, but it's going to look adorable. And I may come back and do edging on some of the other ones too. I don't know. 
Pretty darling, huh? Okay, let's do this one. Okay, this is a wood tag. It comes from MagnoliaDIY.com. They come two in a package. They're pre-painted. They're really nice. They're super easy to craft with. Um, you can hang them on a door. I mean, they could be just a sign. You can do all kinds of different things with them. And I'm going to use this brand new stencil, which is called Flowers, Please. I hunted and hunted and hunted around for this stencil on my website because I was looking for honeybees and flowers, please. And it's called Flowers, Please. So if you want to look at any of these, just say supply list and I'll get you the whole list. And it's also going to tell you what, what this color is called. I'll give you the whole thing. And I'll include a replay of this video. So, this is dry and sprayed, but this is brand spanking new. So, I'm going to fuzz it. And fuzzing it is basically just a way to make your stencil a little bit less sticky. So it doesn't pull up your paint or get stretched when you want to remove it. So look, look how cute that is. Honeybees and flowers please. Well, it's hard to see there. And I'll probably come back and do um, a bow or something at the top, which I'll show you pictures of once I figure that out. I usually need to let my projects sit for a little bit so I can look at them and decide what I want to do with them. Ooh, this is really sticky. going to use the same black chalk paste. Let me see. I'll get a new squeegee that's not so dirty. I don't have a bee theme in my kitchen or anything, but if you did, Oh my gosh, these would be so cute. And if you like a brighter yellow, which some people may, they might not like this maize color because it's a little more buttery, um, then this project would be adorable to do, you know, in a brighter, brighter yellow. Okay, I'm just going to scrape the big globs off. So what do you guys think? Do with this or this if you're liking these bee projects or if you're a bee lover. Um, or you could put some bee emojis or yellow hearts or black hearts or something in the comments. And feel free to ask questions, to sprinkle all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up slowly. Oh my gosh, it looks great. It is very, very sticky though. I could have fuzzed it a little bit more. Oh my gosh. 
It's adorable. Okay, I'm going to go throw this in my tub. Pushed it under the water. I'll pick this up. Yeah, I think I'll do some black and white uh, ribbon, maybe with a little yellow. And find some space here. And there's one little oopsie doopsie. Can you see it right here? It's okay. Honeybees and flowers, please. And look how cute the little bees are. Also, I think these florals are adorable, too. Thank you. Rosemary says it looks adorable. Okay, so let me show you what I've made so far. I'm still trying to figure out, since I turned my desk, where I am in space. And I'll get good pictures. But this is what I've done. There'll be one more. This other canvas that I just polka dotted. I may add a few more dots around the edges. Anyways, so what can you make with these stencils? Um, you can do all kinds of different signs. Um, you can make tea towels. You could make a tote bag. You could do a t-shirt. This stencil right here is absolutely adorable. And it could make a great t-shirt, a great tea towel. I mean, they're all cute. Look at this one. Welcome to the hive. Uh, so there's lots that you can do with them. You can make gifts. If you want to make um, stuff for birthdays, holidays, summer, you can do the polka dot idea on fabric. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you're using yellow ink. And you can use these same little pouncer brushes, but use yellow ink. And then heat set it with a hot iron. And then stencil with ink over the top of it. And heat set it when it's dry with a hot iron and it'll be totally washable. And maybe I'll do that. I may have just talked myself into that project too. Um, anyways, let me know if you would like my complete supply list, or maybe if you missed the beginning of this video, if you want to see from the start, you want a video replay that's so easy that all you have to do is touch it with your finger and it'll take you right back to the start, uh, just let me know. If you have bee-loving friends, feel free to show them this video. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you guys um, again tomorrow for lots more craft projects that are going to be quick and easy. They're going to be sometimes a little different. They're going to be affordable. Um, you don't have to have any fancy tools or be an actual artist or a super crafter to do anything I do. And most everything that I make here involves either faith, family, or flowers. So I'd love to have you come back. You could check if you would like to see if you have followed DIY Dreaming and if you have your notifications on. I know um, Facebook is constantly changing if you're watching on Facebook. And uh, so if you followed last year, they may have bumped you out. That happened to me with some of the pages that I follow. So if you want to just take a peek. Alrighty, have a blessed rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.